this story is about two brothers that would paddle up and down the coast. These two brothers would always look up at the mountains and wonder what was beyond them. So on one of their journeys they decided to hike in. They walked over the mountains and after that they walked for many days and uh, the, the one brother said he wanted to stay so they parted and many many years went by and the brother on Haida Gwaii got to missing his brother a great deal so before he got too old to make the journey he walked back to the place where he last seen his brother and when he got there there was a dwelling there and um, he hollered into the door, Nah Gunang is. And someone answered him back, Anga Haj Itla. So the brother said, Is anyone here? And someone answered him in the Haida language, Yes, come in. And it turns out that was his niece, that was his brother's daughter, and that was her uncle. And so she told her uncle that brother had passed on, journeyed on to the other place and um, she was what was left. Me and my brother uh, uh, worked on this, designing this pole together. Um, it's a story pole. Um, our Nanai, Kwagana, Diane Brown, she um, told us a story that came to her from the Hazel Stevens. It is really uh, the only story that that comes close to to um, that I've ever heard comes close to to telling about this area. You know, we're seafaring people, but uh, but those brothers in that story decided to check out what was inland and the and the story itself really um, tells of a connectivity between our land and and this and this place far, far away, and and completely alien to to what we know. I'll say hi, -hi and we just do one step. It was uh, powerful, had a lot of energy, and I think it, uh, it something happened here. I hope it continues. It, it was a good thing. It was really sad for me to see the old totem pole leave town. It's always been something that. Uh, I personally loved, so to see it go was quite sad. And then to hear that another pole was coming back was uh, very special. I'm uh, ecstatic actually that I was a part of it. And just to see it on the landscape here today with the view south of the valley is quite spectacular. Getting to meet the carvers was an amazing experience. Spending the week with them was really cool. And then even getting to spend the week with uh, the, the weekend here with the different Aboriginal nations has been something that I've never seen before happen in Jasper, and it's been a true pleasure. So I'm really proud to be a part of this experience today, and uh, happy that this totem pole will stand here for a long time to come. Hi, Sue Sesco, and I live in Jasper. Hey, my name is uh, Francis Alexis. I'm Guayinja. Uh, my name is Joel Nidinja. My other name is Kimbo Yaga. My name is Joyce Alexis. My name's uh, Rolly Williams. My name is Dwayne Wapo. I'm a long-time resident of Jasper. Diane Brown.